Yo, 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 what it do, my people? It's your boy, Streets Talk TV, and I'm back at you with another exclusive video game. And for this video right here, I'm going to be speaking to you about the takeoff situation again, man. You know, we got some more vital information, and, you know, I'm breaking it to you here first, guys. You know, wow, it's been, it's been, it's been a crazy ride, you know, with the tragic shooting, death, or takeoff, man, and... You know, like I said, it was just a matter of time before, you know, witnesses and, you know, they got camera footage from the from the actual venue, the bowling alley itself. I knew it was going to only be a matter of time before they got some arrest or started, you know, putting some warrants out for some people. And, you know, with this with this new information that just came out, you know, um, it's kind of, you know, just clarifying kind of what we already knew. But it's putting another person right dead center in the middle of this investigation. Um so man it's, it's getting kind of wild but make sure you go like subscribe hit that notification bell for future videos guys i upload informational videos every day and you know you don't want to miss out on this good content man so you already know where to come look for it first so whack 100 broke some you know some vital information today you know um he said that and you know what he works with the police he's got them police ties so man you can basically almost 99 percent of the time take what he's saying to the bank but he's saying with the video footage from the actual venue that it shows jay prince jr actually arguing with take with, with quavo um before the swing and before takeoff gets tragically killed now they're saying that the yellow hoodie is jay prince jr's right hand man so when this after the swing after he throws the punch the man in the yellow hoodie runs over there, shoots takeoff in the back of the head. Quavo's manager then pulls out the gun and returns fire on the yellow on the yellow hoodie guy. To which then the yellow hoodie guy uses takeoff as a human shield, and that's where takeoff suffers the other gunshot wounds to his torso. Whenever you know the guy was shooting back at him, so man, takeoff was already shot in the head. So for that story of people saying. You know, he got killed in the return fire by his own man. They can basically, if if what Wack is saying, which is, you know, like I said, you can bet it about 99% of the time that it's going to be true. If it is true, Takeoff did not get killed by return fire, and he actually got killed by Jay Prince's right-hand man, which, you know, comes, which is which is kind of funny because this comes after Jay Prince, you know, made that statement to where, you know, he was acting like he didn't know what was going on, and, you know, whoever did it can't hide behind him. He knew who done it. He was just trying to cover himself. You get what I'm saying? And uh, this really just throws Jay Prince Jr. right here in the middle of the mix because the police already got that footage. They already got that footage. You know, he's being questioned. Um, they already know what happened. They already know what went down. They're wondering why it happened. Um, that's really the, the big question now. And because uh, we already seen the video with Jay Prince Jr. walking past takeoff while he's laying on the ground. Any man that was really concerned about the situation and really thought that much of an individual. And this is takeoff now. This is takeoff with the Migos. This ain't just some ordinary deal blow. This is actually one of the biggest, you know, um, rap groups ever, ever in hip hop history. So, um, you know, this was a big thing. And for something like this to happen on your hands and you just walk on by like nothing, nothing's wrong. Nah, man, you already you know already know something was featured with that man. So I'm gonna play the audio from Wack 100 saying everything that I just said, confirming that they got the audio of it and that um it shows what I say. You know, him shooting take off and him using him as a human shield, man. Tragic, 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 tragic. But man, but make sure y'all like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so y'all get the updates every time. You know we post them. You know, we got a lot more, you know, videos, informational videos we're going to be uploading, man. And we want y'all along for the ride. So, y'all go ahead and make sure to do that and listen to this audio right now. Peace. Bow. I don't know. This, this is looking kind of wild for the Prince family. This is. Now it comes out that Quavo was directly arguing with Jay Prince Jr. And the dude with the yellow hoodie was Jay Prince Jr. personal guy. And they fingering him for popping motherfucking takeoff and running. This whole sh look weird. Look, are getting different. Especially with him walking off. Remember, remember, I, I told you day one. Mm -hmm. I told, I said, Danny, that walk, that don't look right. Exactly. Now is he sixteen or twenty-two? 
They say he's six yellow, foot. Yellow hoodie. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Either way, he's young. Shit. I have no idea. Not only the walk, the look, too. Like, he didn't even want to look too good. Nah, remember I said that when y'all... Look, remember I was defending him in the morning show. When they sent me that video, I said, yeah, nah, something ain't right. That's not what you do. Somebody there, your guest, he there with you, something just happened. You not walking by him like that. Disregard him. Ain't gonna happen. Nah, it makes sense. They said they was the ones arguing. So was he arguing with him? Like directly with Quavo, they was arguing. He was he arguing about the disrespect. You think he was 